why your website is not important, it's dead, and you need a funnel instead. Guys, Kim Barra from Your Social Voice, and today I'm talking to you around why you need a funnel and not a website, all right? But first, I wanna paint you a word picture, all right? What I want you guys to do is think about, you've gone into the shopping center, right? You've gone into the shops, you've gone to pick up, and your partner said, look, I just want you to get me a loaf of bread and a bottle of milk. Yeah, cool, got it. Loaf of bread, bottle of milk, not a problem. I've got this. You head down to the shops, you walk in, and what happens as soon as you walk into that supermarket? You are bombarded with 150 million bajillion different things for you to look at. 150 million bajillion different things for you to buy. And you start walking around, and you're like, oh, avocados, you know, two for $7, bargain, I'll get 10. And you walk around the next corner and you go, oh, cashews are on special. Great, grab some of those. And you're like, oh, look, oh, parsley, parsnips, all your favorite veggies. They're sitting there, they're on special, they're ready to go for you. What happens is then you walk around, then you get to the counter, the worst place to be. You're waiting in line, there's three, four, five people in front of you. And what happens? You see a cheeky Mars bar, 99 cents special, great. You know, Christmas just happened, so of course, what do you see? Easter eggs, they're sitting there as well. Get a cheeky caramello one, whatever it might be for you. You get those things and you go out, you hit the counter, you pay, you walk out, you get home, you unload those bags of shopping and your partner just looks at you, gives you those eyes. It's like, where's the bread and milk, right? You bought 150 different things, but you did not get the bread and milk. Why does that happen, right? It's because when you go in there, even though you had one core objective, when so many other things are on offer, you get distracted, your brain pulls you in all different ways and it actually goes back to the way that our brains work, the whole, uh, flight or fight mode and the same as when you walk into a room and you forget why you went in there and you're like hang on why did I just come into this room for when you have way too many different options it's so hard for your brain to focus on the outcome that you want it to achieve so that is the same thing that happens with a website if you go to a website and you've got 16 different tabs across the top. You scroll down, there's pictures of all the awards that you've won, there's pictures of your team, there's a video about who you are, all this different stuff. If people are just hitting that for the very first time, they get overwhelmed, right? Their brain gets a little bit fried. Things start to happen internally for them. They look cool, great, they click away. Maybe they click on something, maybe they might give you a call if they already know about you. But most of the time, they click away, they take up some other form of action because purely that it is not set up and it's not optimized for them to get the best result possible. This is why we want to focus on having funnels. And look, I'm only, I'm only joking at the beginning. You can still have a website. We have a website. There's no problems with that. But what I want you to think about is if you're making offers and you're promoting things out to the marketplace and people are coming in for the very first time, what you should be doing is having one core avenue, one core offer for them to click through and for them to engage with. Why? Because if they're new to you, they're new to your brand, they're new to your business, they're new to your service offering, we want to ensure that it's a smooth, easy pathway for them. So if they see an ad on Facebook, they see an ad on YouTube, they see an ad on LinkedIn, whatever it might be, the ad is talking about one thing. It's not talking about the 10 different services, the 100 different products that you have, it's talking about one key objective. They click on that ad, then when they get to the next page, we don't want to overwhelm them. We don't want to stress, frustrate them, cause them to go, how did I get here? Why am I looking at this? We want it to be smooth, easy, and effective. Because really, if we break it down what a funnel is, it is just a simple one objective web page. That's all that it is. It's a web page set up and designed so that they take one course of action. If you want them to download an ebook, guess what the objective is? Download this ebook. You're not talking about your courses, your products, your services, or anything like that. If you want them to purchase a product, you're not showing them 97 other products that you have, you're showing them the one product that they clicked on. That is what's most important. That's really what you wanna focus on so that you can ensure that when people come through, they take the actions that you want. Now, what different types of funnels could you be using? And really, if you think about a funnel, like I said, it's bringing people in. You imagine the funnel that you use to put oil or petrol into your car, whatever that might be. It's exactly the same thing. You're bringing in a big volume at the front and it filters down to the most ideal person to come through and utilize your products and services. So with the funnel, all we're doing is bringing people in and going, cool, download. Then they go to the next step, next step, next step. Each page that they go to has one key objective. It might be that you offer an upsell on the next page, or it might be that you have a page for them to book in a call or to take some other form of action. Each page has one objective. That's all, not two, not three, not 10, not 15, one. And as they go through, it means that it's going to be much more easy for them to take action with you. 
which is why we want to focus on having a simple funnel rather than having a website. Same with Christy, our general manager, who's sitting in the office right now. You can probably hear her typing away, right? She's working. If she's trying to focus on doing 10 different tasks at once, guess what? She's not going to get the job done. But if she has one thing to do, she sees it through to completion, everything else becomes easy. Everything else becomes in flow and it works. That's why if you're promoting anything online, you should have the option for people to be able to get into it simply. Now, like I said just a few minutes ago, it's not about saying that websites should not be used because they work great, they're easy to reference. However, if someone's seeing it for the first time, you want to give them that easy pathway to take. If you think about it, if you've ever gone to markets or anything like that, or even to the shops where they have free samples, right? And supermarkets do this very well, which get you in because they distract you from everything else. They're like, oh, free cheese, right? You want some Gouda? Have a little taste, a little bite, a little nibble of some cheese there, right? That's exactly what happens. And then what happens? You get distracted. You have a little nibble, cheeky nib. Then you go on and what happens is you buy the Gouda, right? Because you've been taken away, you've been given one track, then you, these guys are just laughing over here in the corner at me, guys. This is so distracting. I'm trying to film high quality content for you guys. They're laughing about Gouda, right? Because it's that good, ha, 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 right? So. That's what you want to think about is like, how can you do that little sample piece? If you're bringing them in from social media, distracting them from the herd, you're distracting them from everything else, you're bringing them in and lining them up with the one key objective that you want to have happen. So that's why you shouldn't be sending people to your general website if you are running paid advertising. You shouldn't just be sending them down a hundred different um, avenues or a hundred different freeway runs. You know, I like, I love using analogies and think of the same as when you're on the roads, right? You have a sign that tells you to go this way. If you imagine trying to drive in any capital city of any single country in the world, if there was no street signs and you didn't know what to do, it would be chaos. But we all need to be guided as humans and, and human behavior. We need to be guided on what to do next, right? It's that simple. And that's why you shouldn't use a website, but you should use funnels in your marketing. So hopefully, not hopefully, it definitely would have been helpful for you guys. So if you're promoting anything at the moment online, please make sure you use a single objective funnel rather than a website. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. I know it has. And make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it. Please comment, let us know what you thought about it. Um, anything that we can do to give you more value, any content you'd love to see from us, please do comment below and let us know. And as always, subscribe so that you can see this first before anyone else. Guys, until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. Adios.